I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, whoa, oh shit. Ah, I remember now. Oh God. Oh God, it's coming back to me. Oh God, oh no. Oh shit. I remember now. I remember the fucking, I remember everything. I remember the questions. I remember the fucking monotone acting. I remember the boring ass fucking sequences of talking. I remember fucking Andre, Andre the fucking pit stain Orlovsky. Oh God. Oh God, I remember it all. I do. Oh shit. Anyway. I wish I could forget, you know, you know, this, this film, but, you know, sadly I can't. I don't have any of that forget-me-not serum that I can inject into my freaking brain to forget this fucking sh awful shitty sequel. And what I'm talking about is Universal Soldier Regeneration. It's a 5.3, not a 5.6, but I fucked up, whatever. It's a 5.3 on IMDb. It's considered, like... Ooh, it's dark, it's gritty, it's a great sequel. It's better than The Return. You know what? I don't even think this film is even any better than any of the direct-to-video uh, or show made on made-for-TV sequels for Universal Soldier starring Matt Patagula. I'd rather see Matt... I'd rather watch Matt Patagula, you know, do some unfinished business than fucking watch this film again. This is a waste of fucking space and a waste of your motherfucking time. Um, if it wasn't for my friend Matt, Rambo Ruff for right, Rambo, this movie's making me flub my lines. This movie's making me stutter like a bitch. If I hadn't watched this, if my friend Matt, Rambo Ruff for life, and you know, you know, hadn't have offered his helping hand to help me sit through this fucking shit fest. I don't think I probably would have sat through it. I would have shut it off 30 minutes in. I mean, how this film gets so much praise is beyond me. Right off the bat, if you like the film, that's fine. Okay, that's okay. That's your opinion. You're entitled to it. Okay, but I'm also entitled to my opinion. And in my opinion, this movie sucks. If I'm opinion, this movie is a boring fucking it's just a boring it's just a boring waste of your time it's boring it is so fucking boring um and any of the character development that so called some of these reviewers on IMDb seem to say it has it has none I don't know what they're talking about I no idea I really don't so anyway I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can but it might turn into a long ass fucking video but anyway, however long this fucking rant is, it's however fucking long it's gonna be, because I just have to get the shit off my chest. I gotta get this shit out of my basement. You know, it's kind of like how I feel about the Batman films. No one's Batman films, which I will fucking get to soon enough. But I gotta get this out of my, out of my chest. I just gotta get it out. You know, because before you know, before it you know starts to fuck fuck with my head. You know, it starts to make me go fucking crazy. So basically. One of the biggest problems I have with this film is its attempts to be dark and gritty. Which, in, in trying to be deep and thought-provoking. Which also reminds me of another director who likes to do movies that are deep and thought-provoking. And dark and gritty. Hmm. You, 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 you know, you guys probably already know who I'm talking about. You know, his, his, his last name starts with an N. Okay. And basically, this film is... It's, it's desperate attempts to be Nolan-esque really drag this film down to the to the shitter in my opinion because it's trying so hard to be deep and dark and gritty that it just ends up being boring so basically this film ignores return completely and the film basically is trying to make me believe that after the events of universal soldier the first film that Luke Devereux has just gone nuts. He's just fucking lost his mind. He's gone crazy. He's got psychological issues. 
So now he has a psychiatrist. And he just, he just sits around like this all the time. Which is just an acting performance that people on IMDb seem to call amazing, a great performance by Van Damme. Like, what the fuck does he do? I mean, that's not even a performance. I can do that. Anybody can do that. He says, like, three lines. I think he says, like, I don't remember three times. I think that's it. I don't remember him saying anything else. He's just like... And then maybe it's a couple of, like... You know how deep and how great is that performance there's nothing great about it so basically the film for Soul Regeneration is directed by John Himes John Himes John Himmelhanger John Himmelfucker John Himes so or, or you know John Hangs and John should John fucking hangs low or hangs loose or like, I don't know. I don't fuck. It just. This movie is just. Uh, just. Just fucking. Terrible. It's just like. It's just crushing my brain. You know, I'm really trying to remember. Like I said, I don't remember. And I really don't remember. Because I really honestly tried to force. You know, all the memories of this shitty fucking film out of my head. So basically, what I can remember is this John Hyams, the son of. Of. Peter Himes directed Sudden Death in and, and 2010 you know 2010 the year, I think the year we made Contact he's basically the director of photography in this as well and it's pretty bland photography so basically the film opens up with a shot of this daughter this girl and like her boyfriend and they're like dressed up in like school uniforms and I'm thinking like what 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 kind of opening is this and she started and then they're in some museum of art and then they get kidnapped by some dudes in like freaking ski masks. And then you have an action sequence which is just fucking pointless and boring and just lackluster and nothing original about it. Not exciting because I've seen it a billion times. And some people on IMDb are like, oh, it's such a thrilling, exhilarating action sequence. In the vein of the Bourne films. I'm like, oh, that's the problem. It's in the vein of the fucking Bourne films. And then they're all like, well, it's got, you know, not any shaky cam in the car chase. Hey, you know, Quantum of Solace, take notes. What the fuck movie you're watching? Because there's a shit ton of shaky cam in this car chase. Shaky cam laid in fucking useless, boring ass, waste, pointless chase sequence. With a bunch of fucking kidnappers who kidnap some two rich kids. And then they shoot a, shoot some guns. And then that's it. And then we get to the opening credits, I think. I don't remember where the fucking opening credits were. Forgettable. Then we get to the fucking... Just the plot where there's some fucking weirdo, fucking balding scientist douchebag who has a fucking fail-safe plan. He's, he's recreated the Universal Soldier Project. And he's chosen a lot of fucking shitty candidates. He chose a fucking gangbanger from fucking uh, Cali. It was just not believable at all. He chose a bunch of fucking guys who look like, you know, Channing Tatum, Tatum lookalikes. There's a lot of Channing Tatum lookalikes in this film. I guess there's a UFC guy named Tom Pyle who gets in a fight with Andre the Pitbull later and he just looks like fucking Channing Tatum. A lot of Channing Tatum wannabes in this film, which isn't great. Andre Olofsky plays in the NGO, the new G, the new G, the new G, NGU? What is this, Stargate fucking SGI? What, what the fuck? NG, NGU, what the fuck does it stand for? The new, the new, hmm, I really don't know what the fuck NGU stands for. He's the new universal soldier. He's the new grand universe or some shit. I don't know what the fuck to call it. He's a UFC, UFC fighter, okay? He's, he's a good UFC fighter. I'll grant him that. His fighting style does not work on film. He looks so fucking slow. He moves like a fucking truck. It's just not very fluid at all. I don't see why people think that it's a new action star. What are you talking about? He just jumps down from the top of cliff, you know, girder, sneaks up on people, sneaks attack, cheap shots people, and he does this. You should reinsert like a like a sound effect and be like 
bink, 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 you know, like, doom, 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 doom. It's just, I don't, I don't buy it. It's not brutal or anything. It's just fucking laughable. This is overkill. It's just silly. So, there, there really isn't much of a plot. There's some fucking Russian terrorist dude who they're the one that kidnapped the rich kids who were actually the kids of some fucking politician. I fucking care less. They, 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 they make this video saying, oh, we want the ransom, we want money, you know, whatever. I don't fucking remember. Well, we're not a very good review then if you don't. Well, fuck you. Sound like Rocky. Sound like fucking Bullwinkle. Well, fuck you. <laughs> so I mean, watch something else, you stupid. So anyway, God, this film is just making me go crazy just talking about it. Let's go crazy. Let's go nuts. So anyway, the plot's not that exciting. The first half of the film is just nothing but talking. You have this guy named General Kobe who I'm like, stop selling me, start, just shut the fuck up, and start making some fucking electronics that don't fucking rip, that actually fucking work for once. Please, General Kobe, just blah, 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 blah. Our mission is this, blah, blah, blah. Then you have inserted like, oh, here's Call of Duty. It's like they just watch Call of Duty, someone play Call of Duty. Oh, let's put a Call of Duty sequence. Some soldiers we don't give a fuck about because we haven't got any character development. They're getting shot and killed. Woo. Andrew Lofsky's fucking them up. Oh, yay. Woo. It's so exciting. More shots of the fucking terrorists going blah, blah, blah. And the one, the one terrorist guy talking to the scientist dude who helped create the Universal Soldiers again. Talking to each other. Trying to argue with, with each other who's more, who's balder than who. Oh, I'm balder than you. I, no, I, have, I have no hair. You still have some left. You know, just stupid shit. You have a sequence where they're having a wake for one of their dead comrades and then you cut to one of the fucking most one of the worst transitions I've ever seen in my life I, I've seen a lot of bad transitions in a lot of bad movies but this takes a cake this is like one of the worst motherfucking transitions I've ever seen period okay you go from a wake slow-mo moving supposedly trying to be moving but not working at all sequence of the Russians you know their wake of their fallen comrades and drinking vodka and getting shit faced. Then you cut to monkeys. You cut to fucking monkeys. You cut to a fucking documentary on the motherfucking animal planet or Discovery, National Geographic. Take your pick on fucking monkeys. And then you cut to Van Damme's ass, fucking I don't know, in a fucking coma, and then. He wakes up, some people break into his into his fucking room, they throw a tear gas, they throw some tear gas, which just covers the whole room in white fucking mist. The director, for some reason, or the writer, decided Van Damme should be wearing a white fucking t-shirt in this scene, so he gets in a fight with some of these guys, but you can't see shit. Fucking pointless sequence. What the fuck was the point of that scene? He was just kidnapped out of his room to get sent to the, some guys that we need your help to fight the pit stain. And they were like, oh, you know, right off the Okay, I'll do it. All right. He probably didn't say a word. He was just like, probably was like, and then inject some shit into his fucking neck or something. Van Damme has moments where he's like training or something. Looks like he's about to cry. He literally looks like he's about to fucking just break out in just tears. In this film, just like you know, he does in that documentary. Like, I'm not the blood spot to go. You know, just, you know, just imagine, just can imagine him just in this movie when he's just, he's just exercising. It looks like he's just gonna start bawling. He's just working out on the trade climb where I just think he's just gonna go. I don't remember. I don't remember anything. <laughs> Where is my family? It doesn't explain anything. Like, why the fuck does he feel this way?